In today's Health Watch, a new study has found an alarming amount of plastic in our brains. Researchers at the University of New Mexico say they found the amount of plastic in the brain is estimated to be the equivalent of a standard plastic spoon. Mm. This standard plastic spoon. CBS News medical contributor Dr. Celine Gounder joins us once again to talk about this. Good morning. Good morning. So, Celine. I'm not uh, relieved it's not a big spoon. It's only a standard <laughs> spoon. <laughs> oh, gosh. Tony. Um, so, before we even break down what is potentially damaging us, uh, what exactly are microplastics? Describe it for us. So, when plastic breaks down, it breaks down into smaller and smaller components. Microplastics are half a centimeter or less, so still pretty significant in size. So how are they getting into our bodies? And the question is, why is it concerning? I don't have to have a medical <laughs> degree to know that it's pretty concerning. But I want to know how they're getting into our bodies. Yes. Yes, are you saying are... if we eat off of the spoon, we're getting microplastics? From the spoon, you might be getting what we call nanoplastics, which are even smaller in size. You would see them under the size of, uh, under a microscope. But what's happening is as the plastics break down, they're getting into the groundwater, they're getting absorbed by plants, by, uh, in, uh, taken in by animals. And so when we drink water, when we eat plants, when we eat animals, uh, we are taking in those plastics as well. And we're finding them all over the body, not just the brain, mm. but the blood, the lungs, the heart, the arteries, the gut, the liver, the kidneys, breast milk, the placenta, mm. even the testes and penis. So like everywhere in the body. So what you're telling me, <laughs> is that my brain is 99% brain and basically 1% plastic spoon? You, we are finding plastic, about the amount of a plastic spoon in the brain. So, so how do you reduce it? I was it, watching it, something on TV the other day, eating out of a black plastic container. Yes, or drinking and, from plastic water bottles. Or drinking from plastic water bottles, and they were saying, don't do that. But is it hurting us? I mean, is there evidence that we're actually being hurt? Well, there are concerns that this could be causing any number of conditions. Could it be increasing the risk of stroke or heart attack? Could it be increasing the risk of cancer? Uh, inflammatory bowel disease, infertility. So there are any number of things, preterm birth. Mm. The research is very much in its infancy, but there are some important questions being asked. As to how to prevent or reduce yes. our exposure, um, switch from plastic bottles to stainless steel or glass bottles. Do not reheat your food That's in contact one. with plastic. That is wow. really important. So wow. move it to a glass dish or your plate. Yeah, not in plastic. Oh and then God. finally, switch out your cutting boards. Don't use plastic cutting boards. Use either wood or stone I cutting boards. I knew that boards. one too. Yeah, wow. Okay, uh, Dr. Celine Gounder, some really important information.